Hi everyone, this is Kathy. Welcome to my channel, Kathy Mamelin, Psychic Medium. Welcome to a timeless love reading. Well, this is for any sign, whatever sign you are and any sign of the person that you're thinking of. This is a collective love reading. So this is someone's messages. If you were guided here, it is probably meant for you. There are going to be messages here for you. So please take with you what connects to you and what leave the rest for everybody else, of course. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome to anybody that's new. So grateful that you have been guided here. Let's see what spirit has. Person, Your person on your mind. What are they thinking of? What is going on in this connection? Where are we headed? Anything spirit needs you to hear today. These messages are meant for you. I am listening for you now. I have a strategy. <laughs> Look at it. It's like my mind is thinking, right? What's my person thinking and feeling? What's my next move? What's happening next in this connection? This kind of planning, planning going on around this connection. Walk a mile in my shoes. Walk a mile. Okay. Putting your putting yourself in the other person's mind, you know, like what are they thinking? Um, why are they behaving the way they're behaving or acting the way that they're behaving? What's what's going on? I feel lucky in love. Okay. I feel lucky to have this person, even though maybe there's a little bit of a risk involved, a little bit of a risk involved with this particular person. I feel like we are destined to be soulmates. We are soulmates. Um, there's a little bit of an understanding coming into me now, like this person um, with the soulmate energy. It's, it was almost a feeling of that I can, um, this person understands what I've been through, okay? It's either there's a sense of empathy and sympathy. There's a sense of I that's happened to me in my lifetime also. So maybe you've had very similar journeys or you can compare notes about some of the things that you've been through. And there was a sense of, um, I understand. I understand what you've been through. I understand where you're coming from. And um, and this maybe there's kind of this kindred uh, spirit thing happening between the two of you. One more, please, spirit. What else do you want us to know? Let's see. I have this great chemistry. So we've got a soulmate. We've got some chemistry. I mean, that's a nice combination right there. It's like, you know, this soulmate is the person I want to be with. This is the person that I that I feel special with. This is the person that that makes me feel um, they're saying alive and there's a sense of um, a little bit of a wow, you know, there's a little bit of a, a wow and, and uh, uh, energy here. I mean, I think that anytime we fall in love with a soulmate, uh, I'm going to say that, you know, just, you know, this chemistry is off the charts, you know, whatever. Um, we're going to start there. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome to anybody that's new. So grateful Spirit has guided you here. Please remember to hit that like and subscribe button, comment below. Very grateful for your comments. I love to hear your stories. I love to try to encourage you as best I can. Let's see what spirit has for you. Let's talk to me about the soulmate energy and this feeling of we have, um, I don't know, similar past, sim similar, like similar stories. I guess I want to say it that way. Like maybe there's, we can, we can kind of, um, connect along the lines of you both have been through but something very similar okay i have a chariot i have strength patience thank you spirit i want patience i this is an an, uh, an extra card in this deck it is the romantic <laughs> the believer destiny so we've got a hopeless like hopeless romantic um, I have an eight of swords. I don't want to feel trapped. I don't want to feel controlled by anybody. That could be something that comes out when we start talking. And I have the world, okay, a dream come true, starting a new phase, looking at something. So the first thing that I'm feeling is this sense of courage. I, I am going to say it that way, that um, I do feel lucky that this person has come into my life and I want to be brave. I want to be strong to move forward with this connection. I don't want my old wounds to make me feel like I'm holding back. I, for once in my lifetime, I feel like I want to, I want to, I want to be open and appreciate it, you know, appreciate what spirit's putting in front of me. So I feel like you're very aware of the energy. I feel like you are very in tune to this person and what's going on around you. And I, I feel like that's very important because this, 
this feels like it's moving forward, living together, happy home. Um, I've got some key words in this particular deck, so we'll grab them. But I'm de definitely moving towards a happy home. I love this rainbow, that that rainbow after a storm that the, the sun is coming out. Maybe you both have, are coming out of something and you're good for each other. The sense of um, we're helping each other through tough periods of our lives, or we are both um, supportive of each other's journey in some way. So, you know, I, I like to think that, that there's a healing property that comes into relationships that, you know, we realize that you, you were put in my life for a reason. And they're saying a turning point in this connection that we're starting to get the answers that we have been seeking in this connection, that this is becoming more clear. So I do feel like you've got this, this King of Wands who... Uh, I'm going to say definitely has passion in chemistry and this feeling, this soul connection. Um, there's an intensity here that I'm not used to. There's also a feeling of um, I, I can't wrap my head around what's going on between us. It's something like that. But I want to go back to this turning point. Can I have clarification on this judgment card? Are we realizing that this is our purpose, our calling? I have a three of cups and an emperor. I've got this beautiful celebration coming into me with this emperor that this is a strength card. This is a sense of stability. This is a sense of somebody who knows what they want and somebody who um, is, is excited about this. It's a little bit of a capturing you energy also. So, you know, whether it's they've captured your heart or you've captured their heart, um, but they've captured you, you know, there's a sense of I chased you until I caught you um, and you're caught. I'm going to say it that way. Um, they chased you until they caught you. I love that. And that and I think that that's important or, you know, they'll chase you until they catch you, something like that. Um, because I feel like they're not going to give up on this connection right now. You could be the first person that they're just totally into. I have a moon. There's that intensity coming in again and, and a little bit of fears that come in. I feel like we're both pulling each other out of something. This It could be we both are coming out of past relationships that were difficult, or we both are struggling with I want this to work out as much as you want this to work out. Um, and I want to be, um, I feel like I want to be the only one. And I feel like that's going to be said. I feel like we're either going to a stage where we say, um, I only think about you. I only want to be with you, something like that. So that could be my turning point, just exclusivity. Okay. Taking it to the next level, but I think that we're realizing that there's more going on here. Tell me more about this connection. Beauty, your natural beauty takes my breath away. I love that. You take their breath away. Everybody wants to feel that way, right? Um, you know, this, this, what is that? I mean, you know, they go to kiss you and they're just like, oh, you know, like they gas, um, you know, just, we all know what that feels like. Not everybody can do that. Not everybody has the capability to do this. This is a true love story. I mean, this is really somebody who, um, is falling in love with you and trying to catch you and trying to capture you in some way. I have wild, nothing can tame the spirit. It could be, a exciting energy, wild, you know, wild lovemaking, you know, fun times, you know, good times. I mean, that's all, it's all good. It, right now, I feel like it's a true love story unfolding. So I'm excited about it. Envy. Every single day, I feel worse about myself and my choices. So this person is pulling themselves out of something. I feel like you're good for each other for some kind of healing energy okay whether it's i was alone and i thought i was going to be alone for a long time um it could be two people that are both in recovery that support each other it could be somebody who's been working on um, depression and but they they're feeling better with doctor's help and care and your love you know so it could be just some healing going on in this connection 
I needed help. I felt unhealthy. You were probably by their side. So somebody who had some medical issues, something like that. But I feel like you're pulling them out. I feel like it's not your job to heal somebody, um, but you could be there to love them and support them. And, and they feel better because you're in their life, you know? So we're there for each other. We're everybody's there for each other. Warmth. I miss you and your warmth. I want to be with you. Okay lies i can't seem to do the right thing so if there were any lies in this connection that could be part of the healing also for some forgiveness that i shouldn't have said what i did i shouldn't have acted the way i did so some of you may have gone through a lot with this connection already and you're trying to just look at the love i've been walking a thin line between being okay and being a complete mess I feel like you are, in a sense, I don't want to say saving them. That's not really the best way to say it, but you help to make them feel more grounded. You might may help them make better decisions. You might help them show them that they can do better for themselves always, that things are coming along that would be better, um, you know, something along those lines. And then I have you make me feel things I can't even describe. You know, the passion that we have, we can't deny. And at the same time as this person's feeling more grounded, more stable, healthier, I feel like we're becoming more um, emotionally close. I guess I want to say it that way, that it's not just the chemistry. Of course, the chemistry has been there from the beginning, but it's the person who wants to put more time into you because they really want to capture your heart. They want you to be in love with them. They want you to be by their side and believe in them, Spirit just said. They really want you to believe in them. That's nice. I have a devil. So there could have been something that um, steered them wrong. It could have been drugs, alcohol. It could be um, could have been a person that that steered them wrong. And maybe there was something that interfered in this connection. But I do feel like we're over that hurdle. I feel like we have accepted it for what it was in this connection. And, you know, we're just kind of looking at, you know, rebuilding, you know, there's a sense of um, kind of rebuilding ourselves and healing through some kind of process and doing better, doing the best that we can in strength. God is giving you strength to do it. It's almost a feeling of spirit wants you to stay together no matter what. Like, don't give up on this person. They're not going to give up on you. Um, you know, I, I want this connection to work. I have a higher fan, you know, your spiritual growth, your your own spiritual beliefs is keeping this connection going. It, it is just a sense of we're healing. Page of Swords, I have something to tell you. I want to start to tell you my true feelings. I want to be more open with you. I want to share with you all of those things. So this devil, I'm going to put this devil in some kind of activity. It could be behavior. Um that wasn't serving us and we both know in order for this connection to continue that the behavior the temptation the the devil that was you know coming in we have to remove it and that's really it's always a fight it's a fight against good and evil it's a fight against you know um good decisions and bad decisions and Today, I feel like, you know, we are removing it and I feel like we're we're stronger because of it. We're stronger because of it. Whatever, whatever has been interfering in this connection. I have the wheel of fortune. I don't want to give up on this connection. There is a sense of we're supposed to be together. I mean, I can't deny the passion that I have for you. I can't deny um, the sense of you know, I feel like we're meant to be together. I feel like this is love. You know, I, I, I'm going to even say you probably felt like you were in love with this person when you first met them, like just from the very, very beginning. And then, you know, things happen in relationships, things unfold, you know, some of the ugly comes out, some of the messy comes out. And then it's kind of like, OK, but we can get through these things. You know, it's not going to destroy us. But we have to realize that it can hurt us and we have to realize that we can we can improve upon it and it can get better. And that's where I feel like you're at right now. And I feel like that's what what spirit needs you to hear is your person knows that this can just keep getting better. 
um, a judgment. Yeah, I do feel like you're meant to be together. I will say that. And then there's the two of pentacles, this sense of, you know, back and forth and even working on it and making some choices so that we can continue this journey together and we can continue to make this work. I don't feel like I am... Um, upset with this person. I feel like I'm in love with this person. And I feel like I am glad that this person's putting the time and energy in trying to chase you and in trying to repair whatever damage that they feel like they cause. Like they want to show you that um, it, it can be better. Uh, dragon, beware of self delusion. I don't think you're fooling yourself. I think you know exactly what has happened. And I feel like you guys have to addressed it it's like the elephant in the room you know that you guys have talked it out you guys have you know addressed it it's not going to happen again and that we are just going to keep moving into let's just love each other is really how it's coming in let's just love each other um, a wheel indecisive allowing your life to ra ra ramble aimlessly so this wheel goes round and round, but if we don't stop it sometimes and address issues, it's going to continue. It's that broken record in our head. It's that loop of um, worry or fear or mistrust that we have. So spirit saying, you know, you stopped it, you addressed it, and now we're going to move on. There's a sense of we're moving on from something that was a little bit sticky or messy <laughs> and um, and we're going back to the sense of this person is chasing you and wanting you an increase in the a goldfish increase in the material wealth or spiritual growth could be our spiritual our spiritual um, beliefs are saving us you know like we're meant to be together we need to stay together we need to keep working on this um, I'm not going anywhere spirit just said. I have success, all right? So I have success in this connection. I feel stronger when I'm with you. There's a healing property to this connection. So I feel like all of those things are good. It's, you know, life life is tough. I have a younger woman dealing with a relationship with a younger woman. I'm just going to say one of you is there's an age difference. You could be younger, you could be the woman and there's an older man. Um and Maybe we, maybe it's a little bit of an age difference in this connection. I have a fox, shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in business. So I'm going to put this over here with business and success because maybe you see something in this person that, that they are good at what they do. They are smart. They, you know, they're clever. You know, there could be some really good qualities in this person that you really appreciate. And let's get these jumpers. I've got August being important, could be somebody's birthday month. And then I have a nod, an unsuccessful plan. So you want to be careful that we're not going round and round and, you know, we're all tied up in knots and, you know, things aren't moving forward. So that could be something you've been struggling with. I have an elephant. A long journey, either physically or mentally, will leave you wiser in the end. Didn't I say the elephant in the room <laughs> earlier? That's funny. Um you know, I think that what's really happened is you finally are addressing some kind of issue that isn't isn't probably the best conversation. Probably was it was a difficult conversation, but I feel like you've addressed it and now we're moving on and we're just trying to, I guess, get back to the point where this person is saying to you, I just want to capture your heart like all over again or I want you to fall in love with me the way you did before this episode or whatever happened between us. Like I'll do anything to kind of recapture you. And I don't even feel like it's a um, reconciliation or anything like that. I feel like it's this connection has always been going and it's like we're working through something. So I don't feel like we ended it or separated. I feel like we're just working through something. Fluttering hearts. Your passion leads you to the love that you desire. There's an incre incredible um, attraction here. Absolutely. Um, mosaic of love. Allow love to mend your heart so to let you trust again. And that could be the healing energy that I keep referring to, that you're good for me. You're helping me to trust again. You're helping me to believe in love again. You're helping me to understand that not every day is perfect. Not every day is magical, but there's more magic in more good days than there are bad in this connection. And that's what I want you to look at. 
I have a sweet symphony. Harmonize the notes of both passion and devotion. There's a sense of unity here. There's a sense of we are one. We should be together. We should stay together. So I like that. I like this feeling of, you know, our hearts are called to each other or how about we make beautiful music together? Sounds a little corny, but we make beautiful music together. Spirit, please share with me. What else do you have for us? I have a page of swords. I just feel like we're opening up more and more about, you know, what it is that we need to talk to. I've had time to think about it. I've had time to think about what it is that I want to say to you. I've had time to think about you know, you're the person that I always hope for. You're the person I see a future with. Um, you know, it, it's just this feeling of I, I don't want anybody else. I don't want anybody else. So, you know, sometimes does it take, um, you know, like I said, you know, messy, <laughs> ugly um, to open somebody's eyes to the truth? Does it open them up to being more open to sharing, to being more vulnerable, to expressing themselves, to seeing this relationship for what it is, as it's amazing, it's wonderful, it's beautiful, um, and it can only get better as long as we are, you know, truly there for each other. But you will go through tough times, Spirit said, and but this will pass. This will, you know, this is going to... Um, you change both of you and and then it's like we pick ourselves up and we keep going yeah we have to do the work absolutely so your energy is shifting with this person you're you both are realizing that you know i do not want i want to get rid of what isn't working for sure but i i want to be more content in this connection i want to feel stronger i want to feel that we have um we've grown and I do feel like we are coming out of something. We've had time to, um, we've had time to think about things. We've had time to do some healing. I feel more stable recently. Um, I feel like we're in a better place. So it's all good. It's all good. And I have a fool. So, you know, this feeling of, I want to chase you again. I want to go back to that because we could have just gotten lost along the way. And we could have just stopped to realize that, all that matters is that, you know, what are we feeling? Look at how gorgeous this is. All that matters is that what are, what are we feeling and are we being honest with those feelings? And I feel like this is really what spirit wants you to know right now. It's this incredible sense of I know we're supposed to be together and I'm not going to stop chasing you until I catch you is really the message today. So I'm going to put this out into the universe. I, I think it's beautiful. I think it's wonderful. I, I you know, I'm, I'm happy that you guys are smart enough to figure things out and not walk away when things get hard. Um, I'm happy that you're willing to do the work to repair things. Yeah, you've got a strong king that wants to talk and and work things out. And that, that's beautiful. So we'll just add that card also. But I, I don't want I, I, I want this connection to grow. I think the messages today are even when it's ugly and messy and difficult that we can heal and we can repair and we can continue to love. And this person just wants to, to catch you and really, you know, capture your heart forever, something like that. So how beautiful. I want to thank Spirit for this message today. If you're new to my channel, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you for all your kind words and comments. If anyone would like to book a private reading with me, please check out my website at kathymamelinpsychicmedium.com.